we're surrounded by boundaries every day. Natural boundaries like rivers and mountains, um, man-made boundaries like houses, fences, whatever. But there's also some personal boundaries, boundaries closer to the heart we're gonna talk about today. Welcome to Faith. boundaries. The first one is your boundaries must align with the scriptures. Psalm 16 6 says the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places and Isaiah 60 verse 18 promises no violence, destruction, or devastation can come into my land. So what do we do if we don't find that our lives and our boundaries align with those scriptures? Then the boundary lines must move. Deuteronomy 19 first warns us that we are not to try and move boundary lines in our own strength. It says if there's a boundary between you and a neighbor, you cannot go pick up that peg and move it. But it does tell us that if we love the Lord our God and walk in his ways, that he will fulfill those promises. So if there are things in your life that need to change, you need to take them to God and let him do what he does in those things. When our boundary lines are healthy, then we have the opportunity to ask for increase. And that's number two. Jabez in 1 Chronicles 4.10 asked God to increase his borders, but not only that, to protect him within them. And you know what? God did. You can call out for greater influence with people, with things, you can ask God to increase the, the amount of influence you have everywhere. Lord, increase my borders. Keep me safe within. Make everywhere I go be a place that is gained for your kingdom. The third thing is that God's asked us to protect the things that he's given us, the boundary lines that he's put within our grasp. We're to protect them. It says in Ephesians 6, 13, that when the fight comes, because it will. We don't have to go out looking for a fight. The word says the fight will come to us. And it says when that happens, when we've done everything, we're to stand. So don't go looking for the battle. But when it comes, be ready to protect. Be ready to maintain. Always be prepared and suited up. You need your helmet on to keep your mind pure. You need your breastplate of righteousness to keep your heart righteous. It says to put on the belt of truth so that everything that holds us together is truth from the, from the word of God. We need the shoes of the gospel of peace so that every step we take, we're sharing the kingdom and the, and the word of what Christ did for us. We take up the shield of faith and that's our protection, but it's also our pushback against things that try and come in our boundaries and shouldn't be there. And most important, we take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And that's what everything we believe is based upon. So ask God, where do I need new boundaries or where do my boundaries need to adjust, whether it be little adjustments or big adjustments? All of us have areas that can improve. Second, be ready to occupy that territory and be ready to protect it. Always be suited up always be ready to protect what he's given. 